Hindustan Aeronautics has said that the company has completed the production of 272 Su-30 fighter jets for the Indian Air Force, and the Su-30 production facility is expected to continue operation, as the Indian Air Force might opt for more fighter jets in 2020. HAL had also requested the Defence Ministry to provide an order for the assembly of 72 Su-30 fighter jets for about $5 billion, as the Indian Air Force has been facing a shortage of over 250 fighter jets against a required strength of 42 squadrons. The Indian Air Force chief had provided details on upgrading the Su-30 under the Super Shukhoi program, equipping it with modern avionics radar and EW systems as well as new combat systems. The Indian Air Force had also commissioned its first squadron of Su-30 fighter jets with the air-launched Brahmos supersonic cruise system in the southern part of the country, to counter the naval challenge from the Indian Ocean region. Top experts have said that the baseline and specifications of the 3,000-ton S-80-plus submarine offered by the Spanish firm Navantia is the closest to the requirements of the Indian Navy among all shortlisted competitors, and as Navantia holds a good position at the technical stage, the Spanish shipyard is now focusing on indigenization of major equipment and materials and transfer of technology opportunities. The S-80 Plus submarines are also equipped with the latest DM-2A4 heavyweight torpedoes developed by Atlas Electronic for the German Navy, as well as Harpoon systems, and they can also be equipped with Brahmos systems. India's Ministry of Defence had signed a $2.1 billion tender with a Turkish ship builder to design and build five fleet support vessels for the Indian Navy, and as per latest reports, an advance payment of $31 million to the Turkish shipyard is due for payment by mid-April. The ministry also signed a $117 million contract with Israel on 19 March, for the procurement of 16,749 Negev LMGs, and this also requires a payment of $1.75 million to the Israeli firm by early May 2020. It's almost confirmed that India's 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets will get the indigenously developed Astra systems and MBDA's advanced short-range air-to-air system, after one of the Israeli-supplied Python 5 system failed to get test clearance due to unresolved in-flight vibrations issues in its captive flight tests. Israel has offered its latest iDerby extended range system, and has promised that it will match 80% of the operational performance of the Meteor rare to air systems at the fraction of the cost. Top experts have said that a diverse range of air to air systems on the Tejas Mark 1A will make it very difficult for an adversary to deploy specific countermeasures and escape. As per latest media reports, Russia has begun crew training for its new S-350 air defense system, which comes with many capabilities of the S-400, but it doesn't come with the billion-dollar price tag. The S-350 has also benefited from a joint Russian-South Korean project to develop a new air defense system, which eventually fell apart, but both countries went on their way with valuable technology acquired from the other. The S-350 uses a modern ACE radar system and a very capable fire control system, and it is said that Russia got the ideas on the fire control system from South Korea, who are one of the most advanced electronics developers in the world.